So you know that writers tell stories, and today we're going to talk about putting stories on paper. So I'm going to use my writer's notebook, and it looks like this, and there's only blank sheets of paper inside. You'll also need a pencil and an eraser and some colored pencils. I have my colored pencils here in a bucket, and I'm going to go ahead and put my pencil and my eraser in so that it's really easy to carry my supplies to my writing spot. Let me show you how I put stories on paper. First, I'm going to go ahead and open up my notebook and just smooth this, this spread. Then I need to decide which direction my story is going to go. Do I want it to go at this landscape view or do I want it to go vertically? So I've decided to go with a landscape view. And the part of the story I'm telling is where I hung upside down on the parallel bars. So I know I want myself here in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and first sketch out the bar because I want my legs to be under, to be able to flip over them. I'm only going to tell this one part of my story where I'm on the playground hanging upside down on the parallel bars. I'm sketching really lightly. You can see that my hand is kind of up from my pencil and that way I can have very light lines when I'm sketching. And I'm thinking about what it's like for my legs to be over the parallel bars. As I start to draw my torso, I actually just put my hands up above my head so I can kind of feel what that's like. And then I sketch this long line from my wrist all the way down to my waist. I'm going to try to put in as many details as I can. So you see I'm taking my time to make sure that on the face there's eyes and a nose and a mouth. I'm adding my hair. I always wore my hair in a ponytail so I put that into my picture. And at this point I'm just adding all the details that I can think of. After I get myself drawn, I decided I'm going to add some color. And so I grabbed just two blue colored pencils. I'm going to outline first and then color in. I think that this really works well if you outline first and then you color in. If you look closely, if you have a pair of blue jeans on, if you look closely at your jeans, you're going to see that there's more than one color in there. There's a couple different colors of blue. And so when I'm coloring in, I don't hesitate to use more than one color. Just lightly color in and then color over. Today during writing workshop, why don't you see if you can put a part of your story on paper? Grab some paper and your supplies, colored pencils, a sketch pencil, and an eraser, and find a spot where you can work. At the end of workshop today, you can mark your page with a paper clip. And then make sure to share your stories with one another. Happy writing, everyone.